self-promotion uh, project exhibition started around uh, 10 years ago uh, when I joined the Department of Family and Community Medicine at Al-Faisal University. It was the, the experiential learning component of um, the course that the uh, first year medical students study um, in the fall semester uh, that teaches them the foundation of public health and primary health care. We thought that this is the way that students can have community engagement and raise awareness uh, towards important uh, public health related topics. It started when the students used to go back and visit the schools that they graduated from and uh, to present on topics that are relevant to, to youth and relative to school students. Then we thought that to disseminate the information even more, we probably could invite schools to come over and host the event in the in campus. Every year we are very keen to cover a different theme uh, that captures uh, the public uh, uh, health and trendy topics related to the population. So for instance, this year it's about e-health, the new norm, uh, the new competency. And we meant to focus on how digital health or e-health or telehealth became pretty much the standard um, uh, sort of uh, healthcare delivery method uh, provided that the, the pandemic uh, uh, transformation uh, of uh, healthcare delivery provided the lockdown and the, the transition in, in the modality and the delivery of healthcare um, options. And again, we are happy to have over and supervise over 300 students, first year medical students, um, and they, they are distributed over uh, 300 different topics and they will be presenting today um, at three, 31 different uh, booths. Each one of them will cover a different aspect related to e-health. Some of the groups will focus on diagnostic measures that evolve um, as a result of the pandemic and the lockdown. Others will discuss uh, management and the rest will talk about how medical education was was affected uh, by the by the lockdown and and how it became sort of the new competency that students and new doctors needs to acquire as a skill in case you know they will deliver um, a similar sort of uh, 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 e-health advice and e-health care to their patients. Um, on top of that, the, also the students will cover very important communication aspects of e-health, such as provider-to-provider -provider communication, provider-to-patient communication, and the patient experience itself. The, the lockdown and the interruption in the standard healthcare uh, proved to, to show the, the, the beneficial aspects of e-health. For instance, a lot of patients who suffer from chronic disease illnesses like diabetes and hypertension, um, doctors were able to follow up uh, their, you know, their, their progress um, in managing their diseases, to monitor aspects related to medication, uh, refill um, blood standardized blood tests that needs to be done in periodic aspects. They were easily done um, through digital health. Um, other aspects related to counseling, whether mental health counseling or lifestyle coaching or lifestyle counseling was also easily delivered through e-health and, and remotely. Uh, the beneficial aspect of e-health was also in dermatology um, cases, in skin care lesions. You know, patients were able to communicate uh, with their physicians and show their, their lesions, for instance, via a video call, um, which really made it much easier for these patients to be uh, to receive a timely and, and efficient um, management and treatment plan. Uh, what would be my one best advice to future doctors would basically I would um, advise them to heal the patient and not just treat the disease. Heal your patients, heal the human uh, being uh, in your patients, heal their body, heal their mind, heal their soul and not just focus on treating symptoms or signs or uh, a natural history of the disease. Uh, please have a holistic approach to uh, the way that you look, uh, uh, you look into your patients and, and, and give them uh, a holistic relief and a holistic uh, therapy.